Hey everyone, this is Todd Hirsch. Just finished this little video on how to improve your Google Plus network using Google Plus Ripples. So what exactly is Google Plus Ripples? Uh, well, like I said, it is a Google Plus feature. It's probably one of the least known or least publicized of all the features of Google Plus. But the main purpose of uh, Ripples is that it allows you to graphically see who has publicly shared your Google Plus posts, your content. And um, it's pretty cool because it allows you to build up your network and to see your influencers. And uh, it's really kind of an interesting little analytics tool that's completely free, obviously. And it's built directly into Google+, Plus. requires no, no configuration or anything whatsoever. Okay, so how do you use and how do you view Google Plus Ripples? The easiest thing to do is go to one of your posts. Here's one that I made earlier today. This is just a, a reshare, a repost of an article that Avinash Kashik shared called How America Spends Money, 100 Years in the Life of the Family Budget. And he put that, he shared that from the uh, publication called The Atlantic. Okay, uh, what you do is you go to this little tiny arrow right here in the upper right corner of the post and you click on it and you go down to view ripples so after you click on view ripples you're brought to this page which is this graphical representation of the viral reach of the post the original post so you can see here Avinash was the original creator of the post and then you can also see all the other people who originally shared his post. So Ren Fishkin, Tyler Merrick, Esteban Contreras, and all these are the people who have the bigger networks represented by the bigger circles. And within their circles, you can see people who have reshared their share. And then all these other little smaller circles are people who, who shared the original Avinash Kashik uh, uh, post as well, but they just happen to have smaller networks. Here I am here. Obviously, very small and tiny, but getting bigger, hopefully. Uh, one quick note, uh, Google Ripples only shows public shares. So if somebody, if Avin Avinash, he originally created this for the, his public group, no, no private circles, and all of the other data that you see here from all the other people, they also reshared uh, to the public and not to any, any of their private circles. So another thing that's interesting is that whenever you mouse over uh, one of the circles, you can see that person, you can see their photo and their name, um, and also whether you're in their circles or not, or whether you they are in your circles. So for example, this, this person, Esteban Contreras, is not in my circle, so you can, I can add him if I wish. Uh, if you go down to Rand Fishkin, he's already in two of my circles, so um, you know obviously I don't want to add him again unless I want to put him into another circle. But uh, that's an interesting feature and an interesting way to be able to increase the size of your network uh, for people who are sharing your content. Right? Because that's really how you build up your network is by identifying who's sharing your content, following them, and establishing relationships. Down at the bottom of the Ripples page is some interesting analytics data around the post. Uh, the first one you see here is you can see the spread of the post over time. Initially, there was a lot of posting, a lot of sharing going on, and then tapered off to nothing. And then you can see a few blips over the past week. Down at the bottom, you see a list of influencers. For people who are not in your network, this is a great opportunity for you to click on them to see if they're interesting, see if you want to add them to your network, and hopefully they'll follow you back, which is obviously how you will increase your the size of your Google Plus network. Has some interesting statistics here about like things like average chain length, which is an indication of how many people reshared reshares. So it gives you an indication of, of how interesting people felt the, uh, the post was. Uh, longest chain, shares per hour, gives you an idea about the velocity of the sharing that went on. So another interesting feature of Google Plus Ripples is this thing up here at the top called See Ripples for URL. Uh, basically what this is, is you can uh, copy and paste any URL from any web page on the internet and it will give you an indication of what Google Plus users have shared your content on Google Plus. So for example, last week I created a post called Seven Ways Google is Truly Making Content King on the Business to Community website. So I can just copy and paste that URL, like so, hit go, and it shows me 
all of the different Google Plus users who, users who shared that particular piece of content. This is not a Google Plus thing. This is a just a regular web page. Um, so there's not all the arrows and connections and stuff. But it is interesting because you can see the different users who shared your stuff, and you can follow them, right? So you can go there and say, oh, hey, do I am I following this person on Google Plus? Looks like I'm following most of these people. Um, but if there's not, it's a great opportunity again, just like we were talking about before, to increase the size of your network. So in summary, Google Plus Ripples is a great little free analytics tool that lets you graphically see the people who are sharing your content, resharing your content, and most importantly, lets you identify new people who maybe are not in your circles yet so you can follow them and increase the size of your network. So I hope this was interesting, and if you have any questions, obviously leave any comments in the comments section. Thanks very much.